Hello, and welcome back to the Resident Evil Zero Remaster, where we are back pretty much to right where we had been. Uh, the second leech zombie didn't spawn this time. Apparently the trigger for it spawning is us checking out that one locked door. But other than that, we've got basically everything done that we had before. And... We're a little bit better health-wise, but a little bit worse in terms of shotgun ammo, because I had Billy use the shotgun on the centipede. But other than that, yeah, about the same. So let's check down this path, see what's up. Get off of her. Okay, that's that's a lot. Let's regroup here, though I think I may have just completely wasted all the shots that we took. Let's equip that. And also I'll check it out. Roger. We'll leave Becky here for now. Better to only have one person in there if you're not going to be letting your partner actually use their weapon. So that's one down. Two down. Even if the head doesn't get obliterated, it still only takes one shot to kill most zombies with this. And thankfully, crimson heads are not a thing in this game, so... Yeah. Don't gotta worry about whether or not they died from the destruction of the head. As long as they're dead, and that's a door that we can now open. What's going on here? Oh. We can just see into the kitchen is what's going on there. What's your deal, sir? You just sitting here so that you can wake up sometime later? You must be. Let's get Becky back. Let's regroup. Okay. Yeah, I don't like using the shotgun on regular zombies. But when there's that many of them, sometimes it's worth it. certainly safer. Alright, so from here, opening the door into the kitchen does lead to a dead end, so let's do that. And I'm sure there'll be like 15 damn zombies in here. Or, given the open window, maybe there'll be birds. But, there's also bottles. Ooh, is that what we needed? That is what we needed. We had a lighter, but no fluid for it. Let's grab this bottle. There we go. Now we've got some Molotovs. And it, it... Three Molotovs will kill a leech zombie by themselves. So there's no additional goodies required. Don't need to have the partner start doing any shooting. So now we can probably light the candle up there. But I think we're going to hold off a bit longer because there's still stuff to explore over here. In fact, it looks like we can go pretty much everywhere on this side. Like, there's nothing that we can see on the map that's stopping us. 
So we might as well go. I don't like the sound of this place. Hello, sir. Mind backing off? Sounds like you've got a friend. So much for that friend, though it sounds like he's got another friend. Still alive. And now he's not. So there's a ladder. Let's not. Not just yet. Ah. Seriously, more fuel? And a new shotgun. Let's grab the fuel, or gas rather, and how's our inventory looking? Hers is full, his is full. Oh, and there's no way to get the bullets out of here other than shooting them. Um, hmm. Well, she could use the health, so let's do that, and... Then also what we can do is we can go over here and we can give her the bullets. And then we can also, yeah, we can give her this as well. And then Billy can take this. Now, if memory serves, the shotgun does less damage than the hunting gun, but it holds seven shots instead of two. So I'm honestly inclined to use it instead. Let's have the hunting gun equipped so that we can use these last two shots and then get rid of it forever, I guess. Now let's climb up the ladder, see what's gettable. That ladder looked like it was missing quite a few rungs. Okay, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the map. Okay, up here. Looks like there isn't much. Just a way to wind around to a place we've already been. Hey, guys. All right, so much for him. Um, oh, hi. Where'd you come from? Let go of her. There we go. That gets rid of these guys. Though I really probably didn't need to. And we can go ahead and leave this here. And we can combine these with that. And then we can grab these. And now we've got some more healing supplies, which I enjoy. Let's equip that, and then we'll get Billy some handgun ammo back. Because I definitely prefer when he's able to shoot things. That'll do for now. And then we want to continue being Billy. Hooray, now we've created a new path. Though our white and black statues are not gonna be properly balanced yet, because you'll note that the black statue had a wing, whereas the white statue had none. 
So we're going to need to find a wing to put on the white statue. Right, she's got it. But if nothing else, we can get it out of our inventory. Okay, so now where can we go? Well, we can still go to the place that says down. There's nothing stopping us. But I think I want to go use my freshly oiled lighter. Or fluided. It's lighter fluid, not lighter oil. It's not a lantern. Oh, also, I didn't kill these guys this time. No, oh, no, oh, just everyone get off. So since she wasn't in the grip of anyone, she should join us in here. Okay, good. I also didn't kill either of the cockroach things up top because I just ran by them. Ooh, she is in danger. That's not good. Must have some kind of heat sensing plate or something for that to actually be a thing that works. Yeah, I guess we'll give that to her and... Give that to her, and then we'll combine them for a slightly greater efficacy, and then bam. Now we're all fine, but we've also got no more healing supplies. But we do have a door to go through. Oh, hey guys. dead. Oh, those will be nice. Ah, oh, we can push this. Oh, looks like there's more space to push it to the left, so. Ah, oh, but we can't push it to the left, so push it to the right then. And what have we here? Good. Sure, I'll take the book of good. So what's up with this book of good? Nothing on back. Front's just a title. Anything inside? Would you look at that? But that's two wings, which means that that's going to outbalance the dark statue now. Till we find a dark wing. So I guess we're going to have to find a book of evil or something. Not like such a book would be 100% unfindable.
All right, Billy, let's book it through here. Little dangerous going through there with three zombies up. But we made it. Still haven't checked out that locked door. It might be one of those locked by the clock deals. Though I think the locked by the clock one upstairs is supposed to be to the east somewhere. Or it might be some key we don't have, or it could be a key we do have. Really depends. So do I have to take this? Yeah, it looks like I probably do have to take it. Except I do need to use it, I just need to be actually pressing towards the thing because this game's picky. So yeah, now that's balanced wrong yet again. Does she not have a gun equipped? She doesn't have a gun equipped. So we should go get rid of these grenades by putting them into a grenade launcher. Though we don't have to take the grenade launcher with us because I don't think we're going to be fighting another boss for a while. And if we're not fighting another boss, we don't have too much reason to bring it, though we are running low on shotgun ammo. But only six grenade shells isn't enough to really make a huge difference. So let's go ahead and put these on the ground for now, and that way... Okay, so I need to already have the blocks. I can't do the whole combine while picking up thing. That's fine. We can put those down too. It's not like we can't pick them right back up. And then we can put this right back down. And then the bullets. Wasn't there something else I just put down? Ah, yes, the Molotovs. We do want those. Also, I think I put the microfilm on the floor in here somewhere. Our map can tell us where I put it. Ah, yes. Okay. I suppose if we're just going to go to places we can go, we should go back to where that staircase down was. After all, what else can we do right now? Not a whole lot, I'd wager. Let's actually take a look. So for doors that are open to us, that we know are open to us. Yeah, it's pretty much just that one. Okay. So, we gotta go down those stairs, I guess. Thankfully, these guys all stay dead, and that guy is content to not start getting up and wandering around. At least, not yet. He might still do that later. Now we want to go this way. This looks pleasant. Oh, are we going to be able to not go past that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what do we do? Can we turn this off? Can we? If we can't, then we can't go further. Which means that that one door that's past the trio of zombies is probably our next objective. 
because what else can we reach? I'm pretty sure opening the front door is probably not in our best interest, even if we can do it. And maybe that locked door in the upstairs foyer might require the fire key. Let's check that out. That would be the most pleasant of the possible remaining options. In terms of just reaching it. That's not a fire key door. Okay, so that's the other clock room, which means that, yeah, we probably do have to go past the zombie trio. Which means I'm gonna get this ready. Because three zombies in such tight quarters can get dangerous. Even though I really don't want to be so cavalier with my shotgun ammo. Because I'm just going to be painting myself into a corner later on. Actually, since they all have to come down a straight line to even get to me here. Becky, back here. Oh, when did I set her on to active... Oh well, that's fine. Good job making sure they stayed down, Becky. And yep, that's a fire key door. That's quite the assumption you're making. There's a lot of doors you haven't seen here, and yet you're just being like, okay, you don't seem to need this anymore. I mean, if you've used a key twice in one house, surely it can't be used anywhere else, right? I'm not hearing anything that wants to kill us, so that's nice. Is there anywhere we're supposed to push this? Ooh, shotgun ammo. And it looks like we're supposed to push it next to that little trophy up there. Possibly grab out an eye. September 2nd. A useless bunch of trainees, as always. Where does headquarters find these idiots? We did get a couple of decent ones, though, so I can't complain, I guess. William and Albert, they might have a future. September 25th. Scholar Will, Practical Al, they really are opposites. And, they've always, and they're always competitive in everything they do. There's something ruthless and cruel about them both. October 7th. Got a sudden call from the director. It was to tell me to encourage a rivalry between those two. It's the first time since this training facility was built that Director Marcus has ever shown interest in anything other than his research. Well, whatever. Orders are orders. I'm going to have them tearing at each other's throats. And yet, we've seen them cooperating in looking at a screen, at least. No, no, don't push it. Climb on it. Climb on it, please. Billy! I am mashing the X button as best I can. There we go. Now push it. Ooh, I see there's still something that I didn't pick up. Can I seriously not get past that thing? handgun ammo. I do like that stuff. Especially because I just used a bunch of it.
You stay here. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's a shiny thing. That looks to be the hand of a clock. And we've got a full inventory, and we probably can't put anything down right here. Yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Billy's going to hop down. Let's go. Okay. Belly's going to... Belly? Becky is going to hop up. So, I suppose that's one part of our 815. Still got to find the clock it goes to. But at least now, once we find the clock, we'll be able to do clock things, I guess. So I guess our next question is, where's the clock? Where can we even go from here? Like, we've just got locked doors and we've got no keys. Did I miss a clock somewhere? Would it be up in the rafters where those two roaches were? That would suck. Yeah, that's a pretty good reason for that door to be shut, I guess. Definitely don't have what it takes to get them to move their swords. And there's no clocks up here. So where could there be a clock? Can't get past the boiler. That room on the left is a clock door. We don't have the water key, so we can't unlock the door on the right there. And the southern locked door is a clock door. Up top is another one with the two knights, so we can't get them to open up. I don't know, maybe... Maybe it was up in the rafters and I just missed it. But let's also just take a look at the front door. Oh, okay, it's another one of those. Well, you know what? It's about time for this episode to end anyway, and I kind of want to save before something terrible happens. <laughs> So, let's swap over to Becky, because she's got the actual inventory space. And we'll use the last of these ink ribbons. And now I'm protected from any future deaths, causing me to repeat the stuff that we've done already. And that is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when hopefully we'll find a clock. See you then, friends.